Now we've all wanted to have that tour player swing. And if you look at a lot of the pros, they're doing so many things very similar that when I see thousands of recreational golfers, it's a totally different pattern. Let me go over the tour player pattern. I'm gonna give you the exact thing that you need to feel to make this happen. And you're gonna be looking, the overall shape of your swing is gonna be looking like a professional golfer swing if you follow these drills in just one practice session. So let's go ahead and get into it. What do recreational golfers do? And let's start with these hips. There's two things that are happening here. Number one, as a recreational golfers, most players start down, and I can relate to this because I used to do this, I bet you can relate to it too, is the hips move toward the golf ball. So instead of the hips kind of clearing out of the way like you see with the pros, the hips move toward the golf ball and they tend to stall out and not open, and then the arms flip and the body stays fairly closed. So it's one of these things where the hips bump toward the golf ball and forward, we stand up, get farther away from the golf ball, and then we flip with the hands and arms. That's a pattern that I see all the time with players that don't hit the ball as well as they really could, and they've been struggling to make this happen. What's the pattern we need to have to reverse this? Well, let's start out with the move of the hips going toward the ball and not rotating open. Well, the opposite of that would be the hips going back away from the ball. So almost imagine like you're sitting in a chair behind me here and I'm gonna sit down, but at the same time, I wanna open my hips up. So imagine like there's a chair kind of facing at a 45 degree angle out toward these houses that I'm gonna sit in and my hips are gonna kind of move down and back into that chair. So as I shift my weight to the left, my hips are also gonna move down and back. You'll notice that my upper body is almost leaning forward as I'm doing that. And that's okay for now. Let me go over how this is all gonna work in a second. Now the second piece is, when I do that stand up, my body backs away from it, I'm gonna to tend to throw with my arms. I lose a lot of that lag and I start casting the, ball, casting the club. It's so common. Well, what you wanna feel like is as you do that sit move, you actually go ahead and keep this left arm across your body. So as you sit, that club stays back in and the left arm's across your body. And then finally, you get this club squaring up from the inside. So you wanna feel like the club is way behind your body. It's almost gonna feel like this, way back in here. And as you sit and rotate, like the pros are doing, that's gonna square that back up coming down the target line. Now, I know that's a lot to go over. It seems like a lot of kind of weird moves. Let me give you a trick that's gonna allow you to put this into your swing right away. Here's what I want you to do. Go ahead and make a full follow through my hips, my chest, my arms, everything is facing toward the target. If you feel like in order to get your hips this open, you have to open your front foot a little bit, that's completely fine. That'll make things a little easier for most players. Now from there, go ahead and bend forward like you're sitting back in that chair again. So my chest is gonna stay over my knees, my, my front foot, but I'm gonna sit back in that chair like I talked about. And then from here, I'm gonna try to stay as close to this position as I can and get that club coming from the inside. So my left arm's gonna go really across my body and I'm gonna have to rotate as little as possible to get my club coming from the inside. That's that same move. So we're here, bending forward, and then go ahead and get the club back here to parallel from the inside as much as you can get it. That's what the pros are doing. So if you watch this, this is the bad move. Stand up, lose my posture, flip. This is the good move. Sit down, rotate, club away from the inside. So get that feeling of what I'm doing there. And the last piece here is to really let it go out to the right and release that club to hit the draw. So I'm gonna have that same feeling of what I just did. And let's see if I can get that nice power draw as I'm doing that. There we go, perfect. Right down the right center of the fairway, drawing back into the middle. Could not have hit that one much better and it flew a heck of a long way up there. Now, the piece that's missing here that everybody's gonna get wrong is the squaring of the face. Most players can sit in this chair and open, but what happens is when they do that, the club face is open, and if they get it from the inside, that club's gonna go, or that ball's gonna go a mile to the right. What we have to get comfortable with is the pro motion of squaring the face by rolling your hands, which is actually this kind of a move if I'm looking this way, and that's what I call the tennis racket drill. So learning to square that face up so I can open my body as much as I want like the pros and I'm still gonna have that nice draw 
like I had in that last shot. I have a great bonus video for you called the tennis racket drill. It's gonna show you how to use the wrist properly to square the face up. So you can open as much as you want. You can clear your body and your hips as much as you want. You can get this club as inside as you want and it's still gonna draw if you do this move correctly. I'm gonna play a preview of that here in a second. All you need to do is go ahead and click the cards that pop up on the screen. If you don't see one of those cards, don't worry, all you need to do is go ahead and click the link down below in the description and you'll get instant access to that video. I can't wait to show you that tennis racket drill. When you pair it up with the body opening stuff I did here, it's gonna be fantastic for your game. I'll see you there. Good player problems. We're gonna talk about shallowing that club shaft out as we're starting down, as we're doing this rotating of the face that we worked, about, worked on in the last video. As we start this downswing, what you'll see with, with basically all uh, of the, the top players is instead of coming kind of over the top and letting the hands come out away from their body, letting the club come out away from their body, again, coming down steep into the ball and then having to open up, kind of fillet open the face and add loft to it, the flattening of the shaft should happen as soon as we start down. So as we start this downswing, what we want to have happening here, you can imagine that if I draw a line from the hosel of my club up through my right elbow, that's my swing plane line, my elbow plane. As I go to the top of the swing, I'm going to be slightly above that. And then as I start down, I want my hands to start to shallow out. I want the club to shallow out inside of this elbow plane. And at the same time, I'm going to be...